Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a Cripsy potato chips. If you want to know how I achieved this Cripsy potato chips, please keep watching to the end of this video. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. If you're not also a new subscriber, thanks for always stopping by. First and foremost, we'll be going ahead to wash our potato very clean. The essence of this is to make sure there are no deaths before we start peeling off the potato because we'll not be washing it after now. So we need to wash it so that it's after peeling, our potato will still be dry. I'll be going ahead to rinse it to make sure there are no sands or dates. And this is my final rinsing. I'll be telling you the reason why I will not be washing my potato after now. You know, potato comes with a lot of water, so we don't need to wash it after peeling off the back so that it will not add to the water the potato came with. So I'll be going ahead to peel off the back. After peeling off the back with my peeler, it makes work easier. If you have one, then you can go ahead and use your pillar. It makes your work easier and very smooth and fast. Once I'm done peeling, I'll be going ahead to cut it so that it will be easier for me to hold. And I'll be going in with my grater. I will be using this. this I'm just showing you the ones you can use or if you have this type fine i'll prefer this because i'm more comfortable with this one that's what i'll be using and um, i'll be using it to cut the potato into a into the smaller sizes i will continue this process until i'm done with all my potatoes i'll be using paint oil for this why paint oil to me i prefer it because it does not dry out fast I'll be using it and it's odorless. That's why I'll be using Kent's oil. I'll be going ahead to heat up my oil. I will not be adding salt to this for now. Because you know that salt gives it water. So I will not be adding salt. So that to get that crunchy, crispy you want, you want to achieve. You don't need to add in your salt. You can add in later on after frying. That is when you can add in your salt. But as for now, I will not be adding. My first batch is, is I'm true with my first batch. I just showed you the way you know if your oil is hot. I, I just added those two at the first time to, sh to check how hot the oil is before I will go in ahead to add the remaining ones. Here is it. I added some pinch of salt to it. Turn. And I'll be using going in with my all purpose seasoning for flavor. That is what I'm doing. Please, at this point, you can use your hand to make sure the whole spice is well combined with the salt. But make sure you add the salt when your potato is still hot so that it will cook it a little bit. And that is it. I'll be using my patch and uh, my kitchen pepper to dry up the remaining oil on it as you can see i'm bringing out my second batch and i'm repeating the same process here too that is what i'm doing we are done with it it's just a simple recipe that you can just do if you need a snack to munch at home try as much as you can to make this for yourself or for those that want to go into business with it it's a nice business idea you can just make this take to shops around you or supermarket and sell. Please, if you have watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed to our channel, try as much as you can to please click on that subscription button. Turn on your notification bell to know when next we'll be uploading a new video. Like, comment. Please, I would like to know your comments. I would like to hear your views or what you want me to any recipe you want me to upload next try as much as you can let's let it be an interactive section these are this kind of photo clip you can use to tie it up if you want to use it as a small business tips small business idea here is it that's the package yes that's the package thank you all for all watching my video 
see you in my next one bye